Bodies GDNT. GDNT stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. GDNT can be defined as an illustrated language for design and as a functional technique of production and inspection. It helps manufacturers to reach sophisticated design demands in a uniform, complete and clear manner. This unique system utilizes standardized symbols to describe the components in a language that is clearly understood by any manufacturer who is familiar with the standard. History of GDNT Some books refer to the beginning of GDNT during the Second World War in Europe, when the Allies, in this case England, had problems in the production lines of war equipment. That was the case of some bombs and torpedoes, since there were many pieces rejected by not reaching dimensions specified in the engineering drawings, however, when these rejected parts were tried to be assembled, they didn't have any problem, which proved the rejections of good parts by quality and inspection department. After a deep analysis, it was found that the reason for these rejections was the shape of the area of acceptance, which were a square shape when by functionality it should be circular. This is how the tolerance of position was formed. Then it evolved to other tolerances as parallelism, circularity, etc. After that, the army standardized it. Limit Dimensioning versus GDNT Here are two ways to define a part in a drawing. At the top we see the limit dimensioning method, when a part is defined only with horizontal and vertical dimensions. At the bottom we see the geometric dimensioning method, which is based on geometric controls, basic dimensions and datums. Limit Dimensioning Here we can see with more detail the Limit Dimensioning or Plus Minus Dimensioning. Look at the Tolerance Zone delineated by this method on the whole. It has a square shape. Now here are the Tolerance Areas of Geometric Dimensioning method. Look at the whole, how the Tolerance Zone described by this method has a circular shape. You can also see the restriction of the part is described by datums, fundamental concepts that we'll discuss in the next chapter. Many people believe that GDNT is new, but actually it has more than 50 years, starting with the military standards from the World War II, passing into the hands of the ASME from the 60s up to the newest revision on 2009 although the most currently used is still being the 1994 edition. What is the ASME? It is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, founded in 1880, is responsible for issuing and updating some of the most used standards worldwide. Here are two examples of ASME standards. Brace joints pressure fittings, pressure vessel safety standards, and types and applications of engineering drawings. All the ASME standards are available for general public through their website www.asme.org. In the G14 series, we can find all the engineering drawing standards for machine parts metal, casting, etc. Here you can see the ASME 14.3 related to multi-view and sectional view drawings, 14.6 for screw thread representation, and 14.8 for casting, forging, and molded part drawings. The standard ASME Y14.5 dimensioning and tolerancing 
establishes uniform practices to define and interpret dimensions and tolerances to be used on engineering drawings. The two latest editions for this standard are from 1994 and 2009. The basic difference is that the new concepts were added, modifiers and rules, but generally they are quite similar. Since this is a basic level course, we'll focus on the study of this standard 1994 edition, because it is the most used. GDNT today. Let's say an aeronautical company plans to launch a new model of an aircraft. The aviation industry always requires the highest standard of quality and therefore precision components. Because of the competition, it is important to reduce the time of execution of the project, relying on outsourced suppliers. The components have no problems in the CAD system at the design level, but at manufacturing, as we know, every process has variations. What if when you get the components to the assembly line, they can't be assembled? What is the fine for stopping a production line like this? Thousands of dollars per hour. That is why the aerospace industry benefits greatly from using GD and T among all those involved in the development of products and tooling. Some of the companies that most promote the use of gt t are the aircraft engines developers, such as General Electric, Rolls-Royce and Pratt & Whitney, as they have highly critical parts subject to extremes, stresses and tempters. Here we see the many components that form a turbofan, in this case the GENX. These companies strongly promote knowledge of GDNT among their engineers, with many of them certified at the ASME. Conclusions GDNT is a way to specify the design requirements. Particular attention to the current function and the relationship between features. It is the best way to describe how the parts should fit each other and as their function should be only one, which is understood by all people throughout the process.